Hi and welcome back to one of my tutorials. Today I'm going to start explaining about functions. I don't know if I'm going to make it as big as last tutorial, but we'll see. Once scripts get bigger, you'll notice that several text tasks have to be executed more than once. When that happens, you probably decide to write a function. You might not realize it, but we're, uh, we already used some functions in the last tutorials, such as echo and date. But now we're going to learn to write our own and expand the things we can with PHP. Uh, we'll use functions if the code that is written has to be used more than once or twice, depending on how large it is. Uh, think of making a connection to a database or a calculation, uh, calculating a big calculation. Uh, like variables, functions have a name. Uh, we can give it every name we want, just like variables. Uh, but it is important to know that functions won't be executed until, uh, until we tell it to. Uh, meaning that even if we write a function in our script, but we don't actually execute it, it won't be used. Uh, writing a function always happens in the header. Well, not in the header, but I recommend doing it in the header or in a separate file and including them later. But that's a no, uh, whole other story. Uh, first, let's try and define a function. So open up the PHP editor and create a new PHP file. Alright, now uh, let's start by making php tags in the header and close it off right away all right and you always define a function by saying function all right then you give the function a name so i'm going to call mine uh, button use this bracket to use multiple line of code then say something like echo um, then a little line below the screen uh, this is an HTML tag that does exactly that. It makes a line underneath the screen, or at least it makes a line. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Then close off this line of code, then echo something else. And let's create a div. Uh, a div tag, um, I'm not sure if you pronounce it as div, but whatever. I'll just call it a div tag for now. Uh, div, uh, I compare them to squares. Uh, let's say uh, an, a regular commonly used website has uh, a header on top, a menu on the left, uh, content in the middle, and a folder below. And I'm sure that um, those four components are all div tags. So, um, and inside those div tags you can put other div tags, but it's a great way to use um, and design your website. I'll show you in a sec what this exactly does. So let's say uh, if you want to align this div, you say align center. All right, uh, this is actually CSS code, but uh, it's a, yeah, it's coded a little bit different uh, inside HTML. Uh, I'll show you later what CSS exactly is and how we can use it because it's very, very awesome to use. Uh, close this div tag. Um, now we can start typing or coding inside our div tag. So I'm going to say copyright um, a big C 2011 that's the year I'm uh, making this tutorial uh, then we say teach me up or your name and then we close this div tag as well then close the quotation marks close this line of code um, close the brackets and close PHP which we've already done all right, now um, now we go to the body of this code, and I'll show you that you must um, call for the function before it will actually appear on your screen. So let's make uh, a header text first and say something like, this page contains a function, and close the thing off again. Now this is HTML, so I'm going to remove this PHP text, like so. I make this a capital case sensitive T. Okay, now um, I'll show you first. View by using interpreter, and as you can see, this page contains a function. All right, um, but it doesn't show um, this text right over here at all. So that's because we have to call for the function first. And this happens exactly the same way as you call a norm normal function like data or whatever. So we're going to open up a PHP tag because it is a, a function. Uh, you can only use functions inside PHP, so 
we always have to use it in PHP, okay? Then we call for bottom, that's the name we call a function, and close off the PHP tag. Now, if I view uh, uh, using interpreter again, you can see that now it does have the line. This is the HR tag right over here, which I meant. And this is the copyright over here. And as you can see, it's centered because um, you should imagine a little invisible box around this. Uh, I always do that. Do that. And uh, we centered that box with this inside of that box, okay? It's kind of uh, <laughs> like Lego or whatever, okay? Um, so that's basically, um, you always have to call a function before it will be actually used. Functions are insensitive, but variables are case sensitive. This is a whole uh, other story. So sorry about that. Uh, functions are insensitive. Keep that in mind, okay? Because you can see I myself made an error. But let's say you use uh, three T's instead of two and you view using interpreter, you can see that it uh, didn't uh, call the function correctly. So you have to watch out that you don't make any typos or whatever. But as you can see, uh, it will say that the error is on line 13, so you can check what the error exactly is, and you see that's a typo, so you can easily remove it by doing so. Now, let's uh, analyze this code for a sec. You always create a function by saying function, then the function's name, which is case insensitive, um, use these brackets over here and when you call a function always use these brackets or else uh, it won't work okay all right but functions can do uh, a whole lot of more than just uh, echoing text so I'll show you so let's create a new PHP file okay now inside of the header we're going to make a little calculation which uh, functions are commonly used for, uh, such as connecting to databases and making calculations. So open up a PHP tag and close it right away so you don't forget to doing that. Um, I messed up this tutorial before because I actually forgot how to, uh, to close off the PHP tag and I don't like cutting a lot in my videos so I actually have to do it over again. But we already closed it off so let's create a function. And let's call it like uh, calc and use these brackets then use the accolade I think it's called they use the bracket to use multiple line of code then create a variable let's call it number uh, the number is 5 close this line of PHP create another variable let's call this one result a result is number the variable number times the variable number so this is obviously 25 I hope <laughs> um, and now we're going to return yeah return the result okay now let's close off this accolade as well now what this does is um, this is our variable 5 the result is 5 times 5 so this returns the value inside of functions you don't um, echo the variable you return it okay so we're basically saving uh, the answer in this variable okay so um, now we have to type inside of our body um, I'm going to remove these PHP tags and I'm going to say um, the sum the calculation result is and then open up a PHP tag echo and then this function we just made close it off again and close this one as well so the calculations result is and then it should say 25 if you're using interpreter and as you can see the calculations result is 20 all right now you have to keep in mind that um, a function only returns one value okay and the function uh, is ended when it sees a return okay so let's say we had some other bullshit over here so let's say we had some other calculation like uh, I don't know uh, uh, result result 2 is I mean result 2 is number times 
20 it wouldn't uh, be working uh, because it stops doing what it does after it sees return okay so that's something you have to keep in mind all right so now let's make a, a function and use if else statements uh, we learned in last tutorial okay uh, just to make it a little bit more advanced than we are right now okay so um, let's open up another PHP tag and uh, close it up again oh sorry let's close it up again like so and then create a function uh, called um, is positive okay positive I believe no I think it's written like this positive uh, whatever I just write it like this okay uh, then use the accolades and say number create a variable number is 5 again then say if all right this is so awesome if number is bigger than 0 return um, true uh, then say else return false like so close it off again um, close the brackets as well and close the functions their brackets like so okay and then we're going to say inside our body um, we're going to create uh, another PHP tag say something like um, let's make it a header so everything I type between this and the other tag will be in um, h1 uh, font and everything and now we're going to say if is positive um, the brackets closing the brackets of the is statement making uh, the bracket for multiple lines of code closing the line uh, bracket of multiple lines of code and then say echo the number is positive um, like so and then else I have to close this one then say else like so and then say echo the number is negative like so or or zero I'm sorry because it's bigger than zero um, close this line of PHP I believe I've closed everything so this one this one and am I missing one no I think it's okay like this yes okay now so what this does is um, in the function is positive uh, the number is 5 if the number 5 if now let's say uh, leave this away for a sec if number is bigger than 0 return true else return false okay and here it says if uh, this function uh, this function is the the condition um, if it's so let's say uh, if it is true then echo the number is positive if it is false so else else is always false remember this one is true the number is negative or zero I hope you understand uh, what we just coded over here oh look I did forgot something I knew I forgot something. I forgot to close off the HTML tag. All right, so uh, I'll show you. It should say, oh, what's this? Um, oh, look, I forgot to close off the if statement. You can see uh, what I did wrong on line 7. So if you go to line 7, you could see I forgot that right over here. Now, view using it, uh, the number is positive. Uh, I'm writing positive with a lot of different... <laughs> Uh, letters but I think this is wrong so let's change it anyway positive this the number is positive but l uh, what if we make it uh, minus 5 you will see that the number is negative or 0 and if we change it to 0 you also see that the number is negative or 0 okay so I hope you understand uh, what we're doing here um, now uh, this isn't really a practical uh, script because uh, we already know what the numbers here because we have to type it ourselves but uh, let's say you're um, getting retrieving something from a database that you don't know if it is negative or positive 
then this could be a very useful script uh, to use and we did it by the function let's say if we have to do this uh, multiple times in our script then we would have to type uh, this right over here the if, st uh, if statement um, every time so that's very very uh, yeah it's it's a lot of work that isn't necessary if we just create the function is positive okay now this tutorial uh, lasted about 16 minutes so I'm going to explain how to use parameters in next turn we're going to make uh, a game of chance also in the next turn and a lot of more uh, complicated uh, stuff for functions um, the next term about functions is a little bit advanced so if you barely understand what is happening in this tutorial uh, just skip the next tutorial and I'll show you uh, after that tutorial how we can process uh, information of HTML forms okay so I hope you learned something about this tutorial if you like this tutorial and you learned something please comment uh, rate and subscribe don't uh, feel free to subscribe because it's free all right I used to think that when you subscribe to someone that uh, you have to pay money but that's not true so just subscribe and you'll always stay up to date of my videos um, if you have some any kind of feedback just leave a comment I'm always here to improve and I again I hope you learned something and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye